Hey guys, Tatrap here, bringing you a 2v2 today. We're on Pacino Farmlands. I'm just paused at the start of the game here because I decided to try out the Q mode replay system. As you may have known, I'm not very happy with the uh, replay system that Relic produced, cluttering up the top of the screen. There, you know, I didn't switch over to this earlier because there were quite a few things about the Q mode replay system I didn't really like, but at least it's not cluttering up the top of the screens and it shows four players at once. So we're going to give it a go. So excuse if uh, some things are not as smooth as they usually are. But yeah, getting into the action. Playing for today's morning in the south, we've got Latouf with Africa Core, unselected on the battle group currently. Mateus with uh, Brits, unselected. Future MP with Wehrmacht, who's gone for mechanized. And Jimmy, uh, Captain Link, I guess we'll call him. As US forces unselected currently. In terms of rankings, we are the Latouf. Africa Corps is 32. Future NP, I think it was around 70. Mateus, 20. And Captain Link, 70. So, very, very even matchup between these two. I believe. The allies are an arranged team, and I'm not sure about the axis. Didn't see any matches with the two in their recent history, but this replay is about two weeks old at this stage, so. Could be that they haven't played for a while. Okay, so we've got a couple of bikes roaming around. Location secured. Can we get back to work now? Sandbags up in the center. Panzer Grenadiers have been mustered. Unspooling wire. Panzer Grenadiers. Using the kitten on uh, recon mode here. Scout trying to come around the flank, but there's a pyo there to defend that angle. Pyo gets a nice little ambush in close range. And that little bit of a damage boost they got in close range in the previous patch does make it kind of like a guaranteed win for the pyos if you start a fight at that close range. Used to kind of be like a bit of a toss up. But that little bit of a damage boost did give them an edge against scouts if the engagement starts at point blank like that. Krabschutzen going in for the kill here on the engineer. Oh. oh, it takes quite a long time to aim sometimes. And then goes down to the section. Not, not a good start there for Latouf. So he's going for three pans of green ideas. Quite a few. I'm not going to rebuild the bike. There's a trike. Bike with a sidecar, right? Ooh, doesn't quite suppress. Nice moves there from Captain Link. Mortar raining down as well, getting some pretty solid hits. What is it feeling very good this patch, uh, we'll, we'll say. Let's make it hard for your machine guns to hold their positions. So we've got a mine down. Axis mine, I believe. Yeah. Couple more squads rolling up. Two P-Greens coming in, do have the uh, Ricky Enemy package on one section already. Harassing the fuel down here, looking pretty good territory-wise for the allies right now. We saw the uh, heavy mortar coming in. Oh, he's going to run over that mine. It's both models too. Ouch. That was a really good mine from Latouf. The territory sector has been 
claimed by the enemy. Even mortar sitting up here. We have we shall hold reinforcements until instructed otherwise. Just gonna drive away with that. <laughs> All right. Oh wow, Stummel from future MP. Okay. Looks like it doesn't handle upgrades that well. It's overlay. All under strength squads shall be reinforced. Mine coming up. Nice capping right on the edge so you can't see what's capping. Smart. Low health squad, don't want to get out blasted by the heavy mortar in vision so we're doing his best we think that this map would be like a very good situation for the stimmel but <laughs> I feel like oftentimes it isn't One of the big problems I have with the stimmel is how quickly after it stops attacking that the barrel lowers itself down again. Often delays its firing quite a lot. Okay, here we go, flak feeling in from the tooth. Missing a few retreats. Got the Greyhound out though from Jimmy or Enemy Captain Link. The Jimmy we knew from uh, Company Heroes 2. Nice barrage there from the Stummel though. Not able to get away. Got there one. Stummel might be able to pop off its ability here. Needs to sit still to do that though. Oh yeah. Not good from future MP. Should have used the vet one. Whatever it's called. Tear gas. Phosphorus. So I forget. Might have allowed the escape, especially when combined up with the Flak. Flak was on the wrong side though to really reliably penetrate the Greyhound. Without the oh, piercing rounds activated. Commander, it's done. Oh wow, didn't upgrade this with the post and went for a medic truck instead. They have put a mid temp between the two bases for joint healing, as Commander, you want to do. Wow! This thing already up to vet 3. So the Greyhound was considering going down for the kill, but runs into a couple of units down here. The pack rolls up from future. It's one shot in. I think he's going to be able to get out of there in time. Even pull back with this just in case he was going to get chased down, getting some mines up deep We've in their territory. territory. Probably sector. not going to get harassed much. A surprise for any unit that does go down there. We are losing the lead. Still unselected on the battle group for the truth. Indian artillery. Going straight. Victory well, went for the uh, heavy mortar, now going for the volunteer infantry, I imagine. We're losing a munitions point. Keep up your pace of fire. Good grenade out. Quite far behind, though. Maybe trying to trick Future into retreating into that. Mortar out back, though. Barraging away. But the green is there for the merge. Can give the Pegrins a bit more staying power. But a lot of units are on the high ground nullifying these hands greens. Grenade into the retreat path again, this time. And the opponent didn't do well though. Back out the back, the AT guns in hot pursuit. He's got one squad of Gurkhas out, Mateus. Good spray of suppression. It's a hundred fire himself here maybe. Overstaying is welcome with the Panzergrins. And they go down. That was not ideal for Latouf. Had plenty of time to get out of there. I don't think it was really like a mortar shell that shocked him by killing him so fast. 
So he suffered a couple of losses. Got shits and a Panzer Green now. Do have the option of going for combat half tracks, maybe putting a uh, mortar on this. He's got a bit of munitions spear. Can be a decent option. And the flame, you know, shot can be okay at trying to decrew the heaving water as well. I forget how much health this has. Not an easy way to check that with this mod on. Okay, wow. GMP upgrading the STGs on the Stoss Trooping. Don't see that too often. Rushing down to the uh, Enemy assault package. Only has one grenade to merge into them with. Be badly outnumbered, but they should be able to force away one rifle squad here at least. Oh, but there's the merge actually. Didn't see the Greenies come around the corner. Late reactions though. Probably didn't have to retreat from that grenade. The Panzer Greens have got the six man upgrade now for the tooth. Oh, but they're heaving mortar splashing down for some big damage. Mid bunker's going to be uh, planted between the two axis bases. Not there yet, though, so they are bleeding a lot. Maybe you can use some 250 healing if that's on. There you go. Still on select on the battle group for Captain Link as well. He's gone for the tank depot. Does end up hitting that mine. Machine gun's back there, gets the pin off, thanks to the extra suppression from the mine. And they're lining up a firing uh, attack. And no infantry coming in. Gear burst on the MG. Even with the flak a little bit as well. I'm just going to go for a bit of a chase down here. Greyhound's coming in to try and protect the retreat. Enemy Rifle coming around the corner. And they've got grenades. They get one off there. AT gun missing. Connecting the second one. Flat pops his AP ability. Oh my god, this missed. The flak, it doesn't matter with the AP rounds. Its penetration is so good. Gets a kill on the Greyhound anyway. Two AT gun shot misses, that is really bad luck. I wonder if there's some kind of shot blocker interaction going on there. Imagine at that range, it'd probably be over 80% chance to land a shot. It'd be quite a lot over, probably like in the high 90s to land. <laughs> All right, a couple of grenades exchanged, not too much connecting. That's the uh, F core pack on the ground there. Oh my, that is a pretty early tank. Matilda on the field. Let's need to tank ready. The double AT guns try and line up here. They're pretty close range. And at this range, they've actually got decent penetration. I think the pack. His mid-range pin is 200s, I believe. It's just his long-range pin, not very good. Tech rounds trying to get the job done here, but not quite. And the British infantry here pressuring. The flax coming back in, though. Still got the D-crew. So, uh, we're just going to get our way. And here comes a Sherman now. Double AT guns. No, that was a Matilda shot and AT gun. The Panzer Fours there as well. I think he got a friendly fire shot in there. Whoops. Just a stoss away. 
No AT guns for Captain Link. He's got the support of the rifleman with the anti-tank grenades though. Axis are jumping back on the AT guns. Maybe a little bit too cautious from the Panzer IV. That's backing away. The British AT gun was coming across. Trying to decrew this again, but too much pressure from the Panzer Greens. See a very bad victory point situation for the Axis right now. Been struggling with that all game, right from the very early stages, and they got to start getting desperate on it right now. At the very least, you know, I don't think the Axis like lost too much there. Did they lose one of the AT guns from the Tooth? What happened to that? Did that get destroyed? What is that? I can't see its wreckage on the ground anywhere. I can't see the uh, Pack 38 anywhere. Let's go for a cheeky grenade into the assault path, but it doesn't work out too well for future. Could cost him the squad here. We have 100 points left. Oh no, it gets away. That was a very, very close one. Nice heavy cover position. He's got the LMG on there. Oh. Okay, we've got two Matildas now from Mateus. Good grenades. The stops are going to survive. GMP may be getting a little bit overwhelmed here. Matildas with the side armor showing, and there's a Panzer three from the Tooth looking to save the day. Grenades from the Panzergrenz, the AT gun under pressure, Mateus may be overextending here. Oh, took a long time to get decrewed though. He's got the med truck up here, he's gonna jump back on it immediately. Panzer 3 staying in here, the AT gun pushes up. Med truck goes down. Surprised the AT gun had the angle on the uh, med truck there. In fact, the healing coming in and... They're gonna camp this. Looks like he's trying to go for his toe. Yeah, nice pickup there by Latouf. We're gonna take that back to base to uh, use his own purposes. As the three's gotta be careful though. But jumps back on it with the squad that's here. Meanwhile, we've got a recon plane up the back from Jimmy. He's calling in the uh, carpet box. No, the rocket strike. Wow, I don't see that too often. Good reactions from Future though. Dodges that quite easily. Play T guns versus the Matilda. Back feeling comes in as well. Got the uh, smoke. Makes it a bit safer on the exit. Just. You know, got two VPs and neutralized the center, so they're doing all right currently, but they're down to just 42 points here. Looking for a target. Doesn't find one with the Hellcat. back repairing up a lot of repairing a lot of healing to do back we there the mortar's working pretty well against the stoss Matilda's healthy again finds the flak feeling Good reaction from the tooth pop smoke just in case. Nice attack round attempt. Nearly got the job done. There it is. Oh, very close call. 
But the uh, Sherman is not very good, I will say. Probably needs a buff in its anti-infantry performance. Didn't do too well there. Probably the worst medium, I'd say, this patch. The enemy has taken a victory point. Only a bog standard once. That's why we see so much bulldozer these days. You have five command points available to you. Yeah, did go support center. Of course, we did see the captain. Two T guns out the back there from Future. Alcat gets very low. Big army from Future, 70 pop cap. We've got larger armies than the Allies right now, the uh, Axis. So they're uh, starting to get something going here. The Double Matilda's very, very cautious stuff from them. T-Gun's struggling to pin. Really need Vet 1 on one of them so you can activate that, uh, that ability. Oh, okay, they've got Vet 1 now. Otherwise, you know, long range. Like, like 130-ish pin versus... 300 frontal armor. Bad chances. Victory point lost. Our track goes down to the section. The very, very cautious stuff from Mateus is getting out of there. Does have a lot of munitions. Could drop some airburst on this while going in for a big attack, and I think that'll be quite successful. Yes, he didn't go for that. Oh, he's got, he's got it. We're losing a victory point to enemy action. NT gun decrew back here. Oh, rifle squad down. Good push from future. Withholding reinforcements, Commander. And you got the recon plane coming in from Captain Link again. It's up to two Hellcats now. It's got two of them. If I try and shoot down this recon plane, remember recon planes, they got more health. Damn it. The enemy holds all victory points. Still doesn't last too long against the flak though. Stoss here Not waiting for an uh, ambush target. Slow taking them off all fire. fire but it works out pretty well. And then running away. Maybe the Allies looking to get a bit of a two on one going. All they need to do is overrun the Axis anti tank positions, and they're sitting pretty. Axis maybe don't have a good answer to that. It's a mine on the way in. One AT gun goes down. The double Hellcat swooping in. Find the Panzer IV out the back. Future pops the repair ability on the Panzer IV, trying to keep it healthy for longer. Bit of a rotation now from the Axis tanks. Hellcat still chasing, but they do take you know a bit longer to kill with that in combat repair working. Jumps back on one of these AT guns. Couple Matildas in a bit of trouble here. Sherman struggling, he's merging in, keeping the AT gun alive. Looks like the Panzer IV did go down. Hellcat's coming back in to assist. Going after the other Panzer IV now. Smoke though. Delays the Hellcats from finishing the job. Hellcat. Fast down the road. The Panzer III's knock out the Sherman. The Hellcat hits a mine on the exit. Double Panzer threes. They've got to be careful. One of them's going to get grenaded here. No, I think it got cancelled. The smoke comes out as well. P3 surviving. So close. But it was the extra time. You know, a couple misses. And the extra time to kill 
allowed by the uh, in-combat repairs from that mechanized ability that allowed the Axis to hang in there, as well as some good merges into the AT gun. And the Sherman just generally not, <laughs> not doing enough damage against the AT gun to decrew it again after it got recovered. Is that a regular AT gun or a 17 pounder? Must be a 17 pounder. Yep, 17 pounder on a mid truck. Enemy at 250 points. They are stubborn. Rolling it down here. Out of combat repairs now for Latouf. He's building a third Panzer III. Damn their heights. The enemy is winning. Building a Matilda, it looks like. Oh, it's a Crusader. Pretty hard to see the difference in the icons. Well, there is a small difference there. Heavy tank, have it ready. Good as new. Repairs finished. Damnation! The sector's in enemy hands. T gun right there. Got the US mortar back there, though. Could pressure it. Yep, quick reactions from Captain Link. It's the D crew. Can they follow this up though? Oh, that's a big old Panzer three attack through the middle. The battle is in our favor. Secure our victory. They swapped into the loiter. Doesn't have enough munitions to use at this stage though. Wow. Was he trying to soft retreat back to the uh, med truck there? He got slaughtered by the Stoss. Didn't have a hope of getting home. Need to hard retreat. Now look at this dominant territory control right now from the Axis after that last failed attack from the Allies. They're doing it tough here, the uh, Allies. Need to get that 17 pounder into a relevant position. The Axis don't have the best off maps. To knock it out. Unless. Yeah, no, he, he went for repairs over Zering artillery, so. The enemy has 17 pounder should be pretty successful. It's just about getting it in the right position at the right time. And Dimitri is rolling through the middle, though. they got to steal away the heavy mortar. Three Hellcats from Jimmy. I mean, uh, for Captain Link, but doesn't have anything to fight against the infantry right now. Crusade has to come back to assist. And suppressing, preventing the steel. Uh, this is not going to go well. Here comes the triple Panzer threes, even the Matildas armor struggling to hold up. To bring in the planes. Hmm. Are the munition counts wrong in this game? I feel like they might be wrong. Big damage. From the loiter, the triple hell gets trying to turn fire, but this is too risky. They're taking crazy damage inside the loiter circle, and they get annihilated. They're all lined up, so multiple tanks were getting hit by one pass there. There's a three does end up going down to the air burst out the back. So I don't know. I mean. Maybe it's closer to an even trade than I was expecting, because I think Latouf did lose two Panzer threes there. To her two Hellcats. I think the Muni counts might be bugged though, right? This is not enough resources here, but it says...
Oh, that flag feeling. Can't believe it's still alive. <sighs> if you can't kill this thing off, it's just a real thorn in your side. The entire match denies those recon planes from the allies. Really good at zoning on the victory points as well. Good dodge there. Jumps out to the other side, away from the grenades. Machine gun to get deep crude out the back here. He's gonna steal it, it looks like. Going for more Crusaders, it looks like, to fight against the Panzer threes. Our troopers drop down. Here we go. Triple cap against the Allies. They gotta get going here. Recon run by request. Okay, Captain Link brings in the recon plane. that he's out of uh, munitions in spite of it saying he's got 260 here right so muni counts might be bugged 17 pounder action oh look at that really good connections they go for the cap now behind this 25 points but it looks like the allies are not going to be able to get any traction on the left. GGMP is going to call the GG there. Like very healthy. Oh, he's denying the cap. He's got the vehicle capping. Hiding in the smoke. He's got all the health buffs as well. That flak is so durable. Eventually goes down, but that's it. It's the GG. So yeah. Alright, we tried out the uh the replay mode there from Q mod. I think it's you know, I, I do like how it opens up the screen a bit more um, on the top of the screen. And you can see all four players' resources at once. Not ideal that the maybe the munitions seem to be bugged. But I think overall I maybe I do prefer it to the relic system. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's, it's one of the things that I don't like about it is how hard it is to like, check grenade cooldowns and stuff like that, but it's also very hard to do that on the relic system without having to juggle a whole bunch of things, so we just have to do without that. Live with it. But yeah, it's a very strong start from the Allies. But they lost a bit of momentum once those medium tanks arrived. They went for a couple of attacks, and their Axis just defended them very effectively. Just scrappy defense, and it worked out Allies didn't quite manage to like knock out the decrewed anti-tank guns. And that I think allowed the Axis to kind of build their way back into the game. A few things just not quite going right. Maybe taking a bit too long to kill. It was a good uh, defense, you know, that that initial defense by the uh, left-hand side VP. I think that's where the turning point was for the Axis and from there. Well, I, you know, they, they had a couple of goes, but it just didn't quite work out. Fast game as well, considering, you know, both teams were under 50 VPs at the end there. 32 minutes. A lot of triple cap action going on. But yeah, GG. Good comeback there. Impressive stuff. They hung tough and uh, eventually got the result. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like good game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off with the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.